Standouts from the Packers win last mm -hmm. night at home mm -hmm. in Lambeau, Peter. Took care of business. Mm -hmm. It wasn't pretty. It doesn't dub. have to be pretty. They got the dub. The dub. Um, and you start charting things out. So they went into the night as having a 5% chance to make the playoffs. They beat the Rams. Mm -hmm. They now have a 7% That's chance. It. That's it. That wasn't a giant bump. percent <laughs> Okay, Steve Kornacki. I feel yeah. like Kornacki. Give me my khakis. Yeah, please do. Let's see the remaining schedule for the, the Packers here because... All right. Okay, all right, Dolphins go. have lost three straight games, all right? They've lost three straight games. They're going in this. The Dolphins, uh, they might have played well in Buffalo, but it's Christmas Day. Everyone watching, maybe Rodgers steps it up. Okay. Vikings have already clinched the NFC North. There's only so much they can do in the standings. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't rest. Maybe they don't play everybody. Weird team, too. Also, yeah. it's, it's in Green Bay, all right? Mm. And then it's this. This is I, tough. If they beat those first two, it might come down to... The Detroit Lions, everybody's dream team, uh -huh, uh -huh. going into Lambeau to Everybody, win it in and make the playoffs. Yeah. And if it's a win it in situation and it's Aaron Rodgers at La in Lambeau in mid-January versus the Detroit Lions and Jared Goff and Cole Weather, I, I don't know. So 7% <laughs> chance. Last night, I'm not going to call for any highlights. We can do that all throughout the show. There was nothing worth like highlighting and saying this is why they're the best team. Yeah. And why. They're not. And they've won two games in a row. They haven't won you know, seven games in a row. They're yeah. not the hottest team in football. But my takeaway is they are still alive, and Rodgers seems to believe, but it is truly going to be one game at a time. If they lose to the Dolphins, it's done. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but Christmas Day, national audience, you'd like to think Rodgers steps it up, and maybe they bring something down to Miami, and then we can get talking here. But, gosh, last night I'm not doing, you know, circles around the room. Hey, no, the Packers are alive. They won? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, before we get into the Packers, can we uh, oh. pour a little bit out for the Rams? Uh, oh. Yes. They're yes, uh, gone fishing, so we're going to kind of just eliminate them. Are yeah, we going to do that we'll, every time? We'll, no, we'll get that cleaned up. Oh. Jason, uh, are you going to mop that up yourself? Yeah. Or it's it's a rug. The rug will soak it up. It's That's just even water. worse. No, you know when a kid's spilling something, it's just like, is it juice? Let no, it all right, we're all is good. Is it sugar? It's just sugar It's just water. It's not sugar. lush with budget. I mean, can you not? I think this blue carpet can handle it. It's seen a lot of things. I like the Jason. I can only imagine. We're doing out for the Rams. Pour one out for the Rams. They're done. The Super Bowl last year went all in. <laughs> now they're completely out of it. The Green Bay Packers, yes, they won last night. The running game was good. Aaron Jones is really good. A.J. Dillon. And I'm with you, Peter. There's no point of going through this game and acting as if the Green Bay Packers hit this amazing ceiling that we hadn't seen all year, all year long. But the thing is, they won the game. And this gives them a chance to look at the next game. And LaFleur said it after. Like, there's no point of saying, all right, we got to win out these next three games here and there. It starts in Miami. And the way they won last night game was handing it off and getting the ball into the running back's hands. Miami has done a really good job against the run lately. If you take away the Josh Allen rushes in this past game, it's been four straight weeks where they've averaged less than 80 yards on the ground to their opponents. So for the Green Bay Packers, now you're going into Miami. You're not facing Baker Mayfield and that type of offense. Two is coming in with Waddle and uh, Tyreek Hill. Can you stand up to those guys? Can you go down in the heat and be able to win that game? That's what's next on the agenda for the Green Bay Packers. And as nice as it was to see them get two in a row last night, I'm not too sure and I don't feel too confident about them heading to Miami, winning that one, whereas the Minnesota game and the Lions game will even be meaningful. I hear you, man. And I just want to take a quick moment to appreciate this soundbite that we just heard from Rodgers. And this might be the last ride for Rodgers. We, we may not see him after this year. We don't know. But if you didn't see it, he just says, like, ah, these Monday night games, growing up, I, I, you dream about playing a Monday night. When you get old, you just like those noon games. <laughs> I, just, I just want to go to bed. I, I'm reminded there was this viral clip that came around recently of Brad Pitt at this event. And he's just like, I'm old. Like, I, I can't stand night shoots anymore. And I would gladly hand a stunt to a stuntman. And I no longer remember the first rule of Fight Club. And it was just like <laughs> I, similar vibes there. Of like, one of the greats. And it, it might be in the end. The, the, and, and based on the reviews I've seen of Brad Pitt's movie, it might be too. Um, <laughs> he's getting similar reviews to the 2022 Packers. Let's put it that way. Just I, I, at best, you know, he's that word middling, you know, at mm. best. I'm not impressed with the Packers last night. And it's not just like, you know, Rodgers threw another pick. He doesn't. This the strange pick where he and Lazard, of all people, didn't look to be on the same page. They're not really good, um, and yet I, I can't stop believing. I can't. I, I just I cannot get rid of this team. Peter pulls the schedule up, and I'm like. I think they're going to do it. And I don't have any real good reason based on what I saw last night. I mean, the zombie Rams, you barely even recognize. Yeah. And they gave the Packers a game in Lambeau in the cold. I don't know what 5%, 7% means. I have no, no clue what that means. 
I just know Rodgers is out there, and until he's mathematically eliminated, I still think they're going to do it. How are they going to beat the Dolphins? No idea. No <laughs> idea. Run the ball, keep spin the clock, keep them up. Sure. Well, we get the pad level. Yeah, yeah exactly. Lower the pad level and wrap up, play wins. fun. Low Complimentary <laughs> football. Um, <laughs> it, this might be the end of Rodgers, but until it is, I still believe in him, and I still believe in him. Gonna... the last time we talk about the Packers on this show? No, because no, we'll talk about them after the Dolphins game, no matter what. Because that could be, Jason's going to pour a bucket of water all over the set and when the Packers drop. <laughs> Jay, you're a real one for that. Right? <laughs> Who is that? They just want us to get to commercial so we can dry that thing or that spot uh, no, up. We need a sham Who is a more believable lurking or wild card team? Is it the Dolphins or is it the Packers? Mm. Dolphins. Dolphins. Exactly. Yeah. They're not going to beat the Dolphins. This Ooh. is a benign Ooh. Packers team. I just don't see it. I felt like when the Packers took the field on Monday Night Football. <laughs> you're playing with fire, Ooh. my friend. You say that you're from the hip. Like, what are we doing? Turn the volume up in Green Bay? Is that what we did yeah. to Baltimore yeah. earlier? They watched the, the show in Green Bay. They've said it before. They're probably watching that. Perfect. Red. They will Perfect. not beat the Dolphins. I would, Dolphin I would love to see a very I would love to see a very angry Packers bunch come on this show. Okay, good. Come to the show. Get in the mentions. Get in our DMs. Because I felt like when the Packers took the field last night on Monday Night Football, I hadn't seen them in like two months. Mm -hmm. It's just, mm -hmm. what is up with this team? We can't figure them out. They feel very benign at times, at best. And I want to see a little fire. I don't want to see sleepy Rodgers on Monday Night Football. I want to yeah. see a Rodgers that could play spoiler to teams. I want him to want us to talk about him. It's like that breakup. Like, I want you to want to do the laundry. Yeah, yeah, like, sure. I want the Packers <laughs> to play away. <laughs> I want yeah. the Packers to play away that, that gets us to talk about them more than, are the Packers done? Is yeah. the Aaron Rodgers experience done? No, I want to talk mm -hmm. about them in a meaningful way. Yeah. And the only way they can do that is if they beat a team in the Dolphins that is going to be very desperate at home next yeah, week. Yeah, we've, we've been waiting four months for the Packers to come alive. And, you know, they beat Dallas, and we're like, oh, this is going to be it. And mm -hmm. then kind of fell off again. It's a sleepy little team exactly. with a very famous quarterback and a yep. very good player, and they they don't really wake up, but maybe they will now. I want them to. But it's interesting, the way they scored last night with, like, incorporating a passing game with the running backs, and Christian Watson has these really, I don't understand why they seem so benign, but that's the only word that seems to come up when I watch mm. the Packers play. Yeah, they, they did not win by 30 points last night. That was mm -hmm. a game mm -hmm. against a Rams team that really came limping in. It's fair yeah. to say that. Um, just be careful, though, Jamie. Mm -hmm. The Dolphins are not a team that wins a lot of games in December and January. Their, they've lost three in a row. It's like reverse row. psychology. Aaron Rodgers is a pretty good player. Mm -hmm. They're I back understand home. that. If they're back the Dolphins, it. what does it go to? Eight and a half percent? It might go to like 7.7. .7. Oh, come right, on. Right, right, right. Gotta be double digits. I just want to speak it into existence because as we have learned nothing else in five months on this show, it's more fun when the Packers are good. It, I think so. I, but the Dolphins Either way, we too. talk about yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, exactly. It's really so, fun, the Lions. I want them in. Why are we all crying for the Packers? Let's right. get Detroit in. Absolutely.